Hey golfers, I'm Michael Geiger. I'm sitting down with Larry Bobka today, and today we are talking about grips. Larry, I think a lot of golfers, they sort of just roll with whatever the stock grip is of the club they're buying, but you've got three different grip compounds in your hand. How would you like, how would you explain kind of the different kinds of grips that there are? Um, soft, firm, firmer would probably be okay. the best way to look at it. Um, you know, if you kind of go back to the days of 30s, 40s, 50s, you know, before the rubber grip was invented, everything was wrapped leather, mm -hmm. okay? And those were wrapped underneath paper and they were very firm and they were very hard. So there really wasn't a lot of choices as far as the compound, what you wanted to feel. Right. All there was was, hey, we could make them bigger, we can make them smaller. Um, then when the rubber grip came in, and now we have synthetic type grip, you, you've got different You've got different feels, mm -hmm. okay? You've got different looks. I mean, if you grab it in your hand, how is that gonna feel? And I, and I have three examples here that kind of explain and kind of go through what, you know, we as fitters talk to players about as far as grips. Um, and we'll kind of touch on sizing, but I'm talking more about compound mm -hmm. and feel right now. You know, I've got a Lampkin Crossline grip, which has been around for a long time. It's what I would consider a standard size rubber grip, mm -hmm. you know? It's got a nice, comfortable feel to it. It's got a little bit of squish to it, but it's there's nothing, you know, that's really, you know, it's kind of like vanilla <laughs> would be a better way to describe it. There's nothing exciting about it, but there's nothing wrong with it. So, you know, most golf clubs, stock grips, you know, uh, Golf Pride Tour Velvet, the Lampkin Crossline, they're, they're all similar and they're on a lot of stock manufacturers, you know, versions of them are on stock manufacturers because it's, it's a good grip, it lasts a while and it feels pretty good, yep. I'll hand that to you. Yep. You know, um, years and years ago um, when rubber grips came in, there was cord grips and it actually was tire cord laid into the rubber and if you have ever found a cord grip from the 50s, you'll grab it and go, oh my gosh, how did they not cut their hands? I mean, it yeah. was very large. The cord grips now are, are much, much more subdued. Uh, it's actually a linen material versus a tire cord material. So, it, but it's got a firmer feel, and this is a, this is a Golf Pride Z cord grip. Uh, very popular grip on the PGA Tour for the corded players. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a very firm feel. I personally have been playing cord grips geez, 50 years. Uh, I, I grab that grip, feels a little soft, you know, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to go to those grips because these are pretty tough on your hands. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but as you can feel, it's definitely a harder grip. Definitely. Okay. Well, cord came in originally because it was supposed to help with moisture. Right. Okay, that if you've got it on there, uh, you know, there's, there's legendary pictures of some of Hogan's grip and actually players on tour actually take sandpaper mm -hmm. and sand the cord to bring more cord come out. So it feels a lot rougher, okay? Unless you play a lot of golf, hit a lot of balls, I would highly suggest eh, you might want to stay away. You know, if you're going to try a cord grip, you know, buy one, throw it on a sandwich, throw it on your driver, see, sure. see how you feel. I wouldn't, if you've never played cord before, I would highly suggest not just changing everything over sure. from that. You know, then we've got what we kind of call the synthetic grips, which are, you know, I've got a wind dry tack here. There's other manufacturers that make grips like this, but it's basically a, it, it's kind of a makeup of the old leather grips that mm -hmm. it looks like it's wrapped under an underlisting. So, or over and under listing. These are very soft. This one is actually not one of the really soft, but they make some very soft ones, mm -hmm. okay? You know, people with arthritis, uh, if, you, if you've got some hand issues, you know, it doesn't hurt to go and try one of these grips. These grips are great in the, are great in the rain, you know? You just wipe them right off and you go play. Um, but it, again, it's a different feel. You know, as you can tell, it's got ridges throughout it where those really don't. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I just look at it when, when somebody wants to play or somebody wants to try some, a lot of times if they're gonna make a grip change in a fitting, 
okay, a significant grip change. I always recommend that, hey, till their new set comes in or try one before, try one before. You know, put a grip on, try it, see what you think of it. You know, don't just go to, you know, I've always played the wind grip, now I want to go play a chord grip. Yeah. I mean, that's a huge, that's a huge jump. Um, I, I would just recommend trying it out a little bit if you're, if you're playing with some of your buddy. Hit a few shots with theirs on the range, see how they feel. Uh, because they, these all have, as you can tell, they've got a unique feel to Definitely. them. Definitely. You know, where, where your fingers, you know, and this is, golf grips are the connection to your hands, you know. It's the only it, part of the club you touch. Right. And, you know, we haven't even touched on that the grips can also have a rib on the bottom of them, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and sizing. But it is, it is your connection, and when it comes to the material, you got to be comfortable with the material that you have and that it's going to feel good. Because if it doesn't feel good, the last thing you want to do, you know, is feel like as I make impact, boy, I, I don't have a very good connection. Right. You know? So, uh, any questions about those? I think, I think that we really should just hammer the point home. If I'm, you know, say a golfer walking in and I'm, I don't love the feel of my club, I think, I think there's really an opportunity for fitters to, to say, hey, look, take a look at the grip. I don't think it's a thing many amateurs think about. I think, like I said, they just sort of kind of buy whatever's on the club. And I think there's, as you show, there's a lot of different options yeah. to really radically change the feel. Well, and what we've done here is, you know, we've got, these are basically, uh, small parts of shafts that they're on so they're at the right size so you can actually feel you know if you just walk over the bin and it's not on anything that grip is going to feel totally different compared to here so if you're coming into a second swing store just don't walk over the, the grips that aren't on shafts and grab right. and you're like oh this feels really good because <laughs> I'm going to tell you that off a golf club feels a whole lot better than it does on a golf club definitely so you got to, you know, try it out, feel how it is, you know, even in our, in our demo base. I mean, we've got tons of clubs that might have that type of grip on. Just, you know, you're not concerned about club, but you're concerned about the feel. You know, go to the demo bay and, and hit it and feel it. But, but in your fitting, same thing can happen. Hey, you know, I'm thinking about going to a different grip. The fitter will find you a club that you can hit with that grip on there and see if you actually, see if you actually like that feel, you know. For me, like I said, I just, you know, I, I'm, I'm working towards getting into non-corded grips, yep. but it's hard. It is. It is. It, literally, it's hard. It is. Well, the grip choice is difficult, but to make it a little less difficult, we encourage you to come into a second swing store, you know, feel one for yourself, see how it feels, or speak to a second swing fitter, and they'll get you dialed in right away. Thanks for watching.